kids, it's Pastor Jim here with a time for the child in us all. And today I'd like to talk about home. Are you at home right now while you're watching this video? Or are you someplace else? I'm at home right now. Um, what is a home? A home is really more than just a house. You know, the, we often think of the house, the place that we sleep, the place that we eat breakfast. That's, that's our home. But really, our home is, is more than that. A home is a place where we can feel safe and loved and accepted and that we belong there. And like if we, a family might move to a bigger house because they, they need more space and maybe you're going to get your own bedroom or something like that. It's a new house, but it's still, it's still your home because your family moves there with you and, and you feel safe and loved and accepted. The church is supposed to be like a home. When we come to church with the other people in church, we should feel safe and, and loved and accepted like we belong. Now, sometimes um, churches and families, you know, they're all made of people and people don't always do just what they're supposed to do. Sometimes we don't do it very well. We're not perfect. And so sometimes churches and families do a great job at making us feel safe and loved and accepted like we belong. Sometimes they don't do as good of a job as that, and that's, that's kind of sad. Um, one thing, our deepest home, our best home, is the love of God. Because God always loves us. No matter where we go, God's love is there with us in our hearts. If we ask Jesus to come and live inside of us, then, then we're never alone. And his love is always with us, and he always loves us. And he always gives us courage so that we can feel safe. And we know that we belong to him. And, and he's with us for our whole lives. And then even after we die, he's still our home. Then we get to go to heaven where we'll live with God and with all those of God's other people who've gone there before us. And we get to see them and we'll be at home with them forever. And that's the real exciting thing about heaven, is that this is Memorial Day weekend, and some of the time we're remembering people who've died, whether they died fighting in the army, in, in a war, but we also think about just our relatives, maybe our grandparents that died, or something like that, and so we remember those people that we miss, that, and we look forward to seeing them in heaven. So Kathy and I are gonna sing a song about heaven, and the words are, heaven is a wonderful place. It's filled with glory, which means we can see how shiningly beautiful and wonderful God is. It's filled with glory and grace. And grace is the love of God that just reaches out and takes us in and loves us and no matter what. Heaven is a wonderful place. It's filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. That's the best part about heaven is that we get to see God face to face. We get to see Jesus Face to face, we, we know about him in our minds and in our hearts. We read about him in the Bible. We can pray to him, but to be able to see him right in person, that would be so wonderful. That's one of the, the best things about heaven. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place, and I want to go there. And we'll sing it. Kathy and I will sing it together. It's kind of got two parts that, that go together, and you can try to sing along. Heaven is a wonderful place. is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. I want to go there. Heaven is a wonderful place filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. I want to go there. Heaven is a wonderful place. Filled with glory and grace, I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place, I want to go there. Heaven is a wonderful place, filled with glory and grace. I want to see my Savior's face. Heaven is a wonderful place. Heaven is a wonderful place. 